Hi, I'm Elliot from Synergos Consulting Services. We work with companies and foundations to create social value in emerging economies. I'm here to share some insights on improving market access opportunities for smallholder farmers. There's a big disconnect between the two sides of the story, the farmers and the market. And there are a number of issues at play, but there are effective mechanisms that can help bridge that divide. Let me give you some context from India, where we've worked with a number of clients on this issue and where approximately half the workforce are farmers. As the country's grown, the average farm size has decreased, and today, over 70% of the country's farmers cultivate an area less than two and a half acres. With very little land to work with, it can be difficult for individual farmers to produce enough volume to profitably sell in the market. Because of this, and a host of other challenges, many small farmers only occasionally sell upstream in the value chain. If these farmers could participate in the value chain regularly, they'd have a more predictable stream of income that could enable them to move beyond subsistence levels of production. On the market side, scale and consistency are challenges. From the perspective of buyers, especially when we look at large retailers and agri-processors, it can be daunting and often unprofitable to engage smallholders. Because of the sheer number of farmers, companies face high transaction costs and risk of inconsistent quality. They naturally prefer to engage a few big producers who can supply large volumes and meet quality standards. One way to bridge the gap between markets and farmers is by working with production aggregators like farmer producer organizations. An aggregator is an organization, sometimes a cooperative, sometimes a for-profit entity, that coordinates production and collects produce from a large number of farmers to sell upstream in the value chain. For companies, this mechanism solves the challenges related to volume, quality control, and consistency. And for farmers, it provides upward access to markets and income regularity. So how do we build and encourage a system of aggregators? Well, there's an important role for both companies and donor organizations. Downstream in the value chain, companies play a critical role by contracting with these aggregators and providing guaranteed demand at set prices. If we move upstream, we see opportunities for donor organizations to have impact. Often, among the most significant challenges these aggregators face relates to management. Coordinating production and managing a large network of small farmers is a big task and requires an experienced team. Donor resources can be very effective in mobilizing the local NGOs capable of training and building the capacity of these organizations so that they can effectively contract with large buyers. In the end, it's about different sectors applying their different strengths to collectively improve the value chain. In the case of smallholder farmers, what's most important is connecting them with the markets to help them realize a greater share of the value they produce and ultimately empower them to thrive.